everybody, General 315 back again, another sneaker review video for y'all. And today, man, we got the Jordan 6 Georgetown joints, and these joints are coming out, I believe, September 9th. I want to say it's September 9th. I might be wrong. I will put the actual correct release date down at the bottom of the screen, but something about September 9th is jumping out to me. I think it's it's either September 9th or September 19th or something like that. But anyway, these are super dope. I'm not really a big gray sneaker fan, but I do like these ones. These are all right. You know what I mean? I think a lot of people might like these. Gray is not really my typical color for a sneaker for me personally, but I do like the shoe. And what can you say about the Jordan 6? I mean, it's one of the most iconic Jordan silhouettes to ever release. So before before I get into all of that, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, comment down below, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you guys thumbs up the video, share it with your friends and family, all those good things because it really helps the algorithm and it helps the channel grow. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram for all the latest and greatest updates. Check out that Reels page. I got some sneakers up there, some stuff that you may have seen me review, some stuff that you may not have seen me review. So go ahead and check that out. And for Where the Cops and all of that, make sure you guys follow us in the Discord. The Discord link is in the description. We have a really good community in there. We try to help everybody get kicks. We try to help everybody find kicks and all that good stuff. So make sure you guys follow us in that Discord. Go down to the description and join, all right? So Georgetown 6s, definitely an interesting colorway. I didn't think that I was going to see an all suede Jordan 6. And this is actual nice suede on these joints. So let's just jump right into it. I'm not going to spend a lot of time because the shoe is kind of plain. It's kind of basic, but a lot of people that like Georgetown or like Dallas Cowboys will probably grab this shoe. They will gravitate towards this. We have a predominantly gray shoe. It's all gray. And then we have some hints of navy on here. The entire upper is a very, very nice kind of medium haired suede. And it actually has some transition. You guys can see the transition on the upper as I move this back and forth. Now, because it's a lighter gray, you're not gonna see a heavy transition on these joints, but it does have a transition. You know what I'm saying? So I think on the toe box, you can see here, I'm moving that back and forth and you guys can see some of that transition. So that's pretty good. So we know we got good suede on these joints. The toe box looks really, really nice. I think the height looks good. I don't see any dips or bumps there, which looks pretty good. Overall wise, the construction looks very, very nice. The shoe really doesn't have a lot going on with it. It's really just, see gray is just one of those colors that's hard to, I don't know, for me personally, it's hard for me to kind of just wear. Like I feel like I'd have to wear these with something black like maybe black jeans or something like that. But other than that, I mean, like, I, I do like it. I do like it. I just don't know what I would wear it with. I think that's my problem. I just don't know how to wear gray. I think that's on me. I need some of y'all to hit me in the comment section and tell me what this shoe would go good with. What other color combinations would it go good with? Anyway, heel of the sneaker. You got that Jumpman Air right there. And the stitching's okay. It looks like it's a little sloppy in here near that arm. The pull tab I do like. It's very rigid on there, pretty firm. Midsole of the shoe looks okay. We got some, we got some mistakes right here with our paint job right here, but it looks all right. It's not too bad. It's just, you know, that's something that you're gonna see with Jordan brand as well on the release and the retail, but it's a little sloppy down here. You see, they didn't really do a good job painting that. So not great but it's all right though it's all right and then we got that gray in the midsole right there we do have the translucent outsole right here popping through outsole of the sneaker you got that gray right there with the blue jump man and then you got the icy blue outsole which looks pretty nice i do like the way the icy blue outsole looks against that gray i think that's pretty cool medial side of the shoe looks just like the lateral side of the shoe so not bad there tongue of the sneaker is gray and we got gray laces with these joints i did not see an extra set of laces i was kind of hoping to see like a blue set of laces but I did not see an extra set in the box. I do like that lace guard right there. That looks pretty nice. That shroud looks good and it is actually stitched well. So no problems there. We do have our navy lace lock right here and that looks all right. The tongue of the sneaker is nice and rigid and you do have that Jordan Air right there. That's not bad. We got a gray sock liner with these joints. So that looks pretty cool, nice and comfortable looking. Looks like it's gonna be okay against that ankle. Standard shoe tree comes with these joints. Insole of the shoe is a navy insole and that looks okay. Looks like we got a gray jump man on there. 
and on the other side we do have a dream cell insole so they're starting to put this dream cell insole in everything and it's kind of cool because for a long time the insoles with the jordan sixes and other models only had that foam piece and it wasn't that comfortable but this dream cell stuff is pretty nice so you're gonna get some good comfort with these so overall the sneaker is actually really nice i do like it i enjoy it i know it's gray and gray is not really my thing per se i do like these i'm gonna try and wear these i'm gonna try and put some fits together to see if i can actually do something with these. I actually just noticed that this joint has 3M underneath. Now, I don't know if the actual release is gonna have 3M, but I saw some reflective material underneath there when I sat the shoe in the light a certain type of way. So there's 3M underneath this. So y'all let me know in the comment section if there's supposed to be 3M in this joint. So, you know, this joint is pretty cool. If I had to rate the shoe on a scale of one to 10, I mean, it's all gray. I'd probably go with a solid eight because it's plain, it's gray. I mean, it's not really nothing going crazy wowing me besides the suede. So I'll go with a solid eight. In terms of construction and materials, I think the shoe was built very well. The materials are really nice. Everything was rigid. The only issue I kind of saw was that paint job. So just because there's some minor issues with the paint job on the midsole, I'll give it a 7.5. Yeah, I'll give it about seven and a half because of the paint job. Everything else was cool though. Everything else was great. It fit well, it feels nice, and it looks good. I just have a problem with gray and putting it together. So anyway, I hope this review helps you make a decision. I'll I hope you know it was informative for you so i'll be at StockX, go foot locker wherever you go you know what i mean or any other means to get the shoe on release i hope this helps you make that decision some people might pass some people might cop but that's it that's all i got for this one y'all so until we get to the next review y'all stay humble y'all stay blessed and i'll see you on the next one peace